Shalom. Ka halal, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. The honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. To the Akim and to the Akwath, that'll be your brothers and sisters. Adawa and Ratiza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson is going to be going into uh, uproars of the people, okay? Which is uh, one of the prophecies that's going to befall the earth in the last days, okay? Scripture speaks about uproars of the people, man. You know, those are some of the signs that the uh, the Lord left. That's going to be that's going to make you know where you are concerning the time concerning the return of our Lord. When you see these things coming to pass, okay, so there's going to be, you know, civil unrest, sedition among men, uproars of the people, all right? As a matter of fact, let's go to that scripture real quick. Let's get 2nd Ezra. Um, and what sparked this lesson, what sparked this lesson is um, what I've seen on the news about those migrants, those migrants, okay, coming in through the southern border. I mean, they stomp out some 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 police officers in New York City. They 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 literally stomp them out and beat them to the ground, man. All right. And these these migrants, okay, they say it was about thirteen of them, but they 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 caught about six. All right, and they 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 let um, some of them out without bail, but they 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 beat two police officers to the ground in New York, man. All right, and if that's any sign of the times to come, okay. <laughs> that's an indication of the 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 the, 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 the times to come, man. You know, the scripture speaks about how they're gonna uh, uh, they're not gonna regard authority in that day. They're gonna stand in their own power. See, that's scriptural. Let's go. It goes back to to uproars of the people, and we've been seeing that throughout the last few years. You know, yellow vests over there in France, and many nation, uh, different nations, uh, Sri Lanka, where they they ran away there. I don't I, I can't remember if they have a president or or, or, or a prime minister. But they, they made him run away. They was in his house jumping up, you know, all in his bedroom and all through his house. And he had to flee. He had to go in exile. Because when the people be, become upset, you know, I mean, you, you've seen uh, even even the January 6th thing, whether whether it was real, fake or staged, that's 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 that that that's something uh uh that you could look to to see that. The times that we're living in to show you that the scriptures are, are, are real, man. The word of the Lord is faithful and true. You see? So let's get our second Ezra, the ninth chapter. Second Ezra chapter 9, and we're going to read right to the power where we get the uproars. It says, uh, verse 1, second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, all right, so the Lord left us signs, man, for you to measure the time so you could be able to discern what time you went. Verse 2, it says, Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest, okay, meaning the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, will begin to visit the world which he made. Verse 3, another sign. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. See, uproars of the people. All right. It says, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the beginning, to like you're from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, showing you that these things were prophesied to happen. Okay? It says, For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. It says, Verse 6, Even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works, and endings in effects and signs. So we're living in a time now where you're going to see these effects and signs, okay? Uproars of the people, 
earthquakes in diverse places, as I tell you in Matthew 24th chapter. These are the signs that the Lord left to show you where you are in prophecy regarding his return, okay, and regarding the things that's, that must be for, fulfilled before he returns, okay? But uproars of the people is a part of that, okay? It says, uh, when you read the third verse again, therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and I'm telling you, if that, 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 that beat down what they did on them officers from the, those migrants, man, coming in from across the southern bourbon, they acting like that, that that's, that's a sign of the times to come. Because they're letting in all these people, and then, now, uh, and, and, and then they're putting them up and, and then giving them certain things what the poor people right here. And, 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 and Babylon can't, is not even getting, man. So after a while, that's going to create contention. That's going to create a problem because people pay their taxes, man. You know, people paying their taxes, and um, <laughs> it's it's crazy, okay? It's crazy that you got to pay taxes, you got to pay for a roof over here to live somewhere, and things like that. But then people just come over the border and just get it, you know, get get taken care of just like that. But it's to the point now where the system is being breached because they can't handle that. They can't take care of all of these people. So that's that's going to create a problem, man. And then it's just so much going on. This is an election year. Look what's going on in Texas, okay? With um, concerning uh, 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 the southern border. Texas trying to defend the southern border and <laughs> it's turning into to, to a straight divide. And you know what the scriptures say, a divided nation cannot stand, man, all right? Because, um, I mean, that's, that's prophecy, all right? If you be divided, if a house is divided against itself, let's get that scripture. But um, even Russia <laughs> offered to to, 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 to to help Texas, man. Okay? This is, it's getting crazier. Okay? But, um, yeah, the Bible speaks about uproars of the people. We're going to get it. But uh, we're living in a time where um, the daughter of Babylon is divided, man. Okay? Um Let's get uh let's get the scripture right quick. Bear with me here. Let me see which one of the gospels could pull that from real quick. Uh I know it's in Luke, Matthew, and also Mark. Let's get Mark real quick. This is Mark. Chapter 3, verse 23. And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against himself, Salakia, and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. See? And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but hath an end. So you see, we're living right down a straight split, man, and in the election year, okay? They say about, they say about 25, 25 governors, okay, they, 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 they siding with, 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 with Texas to defend the border, man. So that's like a straight split down the middle, showing you that this place is divided, man. It's a great divide. You see, and that's prophecy that you wouldn't be able to stand like that, okay? To the point where Russia was offering, <laughs> offering Texas, all right, to help them. Okay, this is this is the time that you live it in, man. That's crazy. Who would have thought, right? See, that's crazy. Think about it. But nonetheless. We're speaking of uproars of the people. This, that's the time we're in right now. Going back to those migrants beating those officers, man. Hey, it's, that's just a sign of the things to come. All right? Let's get that because it's written in the scriptures. Let's get, um, let's get, um, it's just showing you, because the scriptures say it'll come to a point where they're not going to regard authority, man. Okay? This is 2 Ezra. Let's get it. 2 Ezra chapter 15. We're going to jump in here at verse 14. It says, woe, woe is an old English word for destruction, okay? It says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword, all right, what's a sword? A weapon. 
for the sword and their destruction draw it nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. See, civil war. It happened in time before, and it's going to happen again. There's no new thing under the sun. All right? And one, it says, because remember, it's a, it's a great division. It's a great divide. It says, for the sword and their destruction draw it nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hands, right? What's the modern, what's the modern day sword, right? The gun. Back in ancient times, you used to fight with, 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 with uh, swords and spears and shield and buckler and those kind of things. The scriptures tell you that in these times, this, this is going to be with burning and fuel of fire. World War Three. that's going to be fought with uh, uh, fuel of fire, man. Okay? That's, that's the sword, the level of the sword when it comes to nation against nation. They're going, they're going to get nuclear. That's prophesied that World War Three must happen. So it's in the scriptures, man. Okay, that this will be fought with, with. Let me go to it real quick. Isaiah 9. Isaiah 9 and 5. Let me bring that scripture out, seeing that I mentioned it. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5. It says, For every battle of the warriors is with confused noise. Ching, 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 spear, elephant, back in those days, horse, men on horseback, all right, uh, uh, swords. It says, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. When you hear those swords cling together, cling, 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 ching, ching. That's from ancient times. It says, and garments rolled in blood. It says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Okay, burning and fuel of fire. That's talking about nuclear, man. Nuclear weapons. Okay, the ICBMs. When they begin to be shot into, one, uh, uh, into the ends of the earth, man. Okay, uh, second answer to 16 chapter and the, and the 13 verse goes into that. Okay, so going back to Isaiah, right? But before all of that uproar to the people is going to happen, okay? Because they're going to come with these draconian style uh, laws and in, in the end times and the people ain't going to be with it. they will come with more lockdowns, okay? Um, second answer chapter 15. Okay, starting again at verse 14, it says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw it nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another. All right, the great divide, and swords in their hands. Verse 16, For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. Right? They shall not regard their kings nor princes. See? And the cause of their action shall stand in their power. This is the time that we're coming into. This, this is the last days. Second Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1 says, and this, and, and this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. When you go into that word perilous, it means dangerous, fierce, savage, hard to take, hard to do. That's the time that you're coming into, man. Okay? But the point is, the point is, they shall not regard they're kings nor princes. So you you coming into a time, like I say, what happened with those migrants, how they dealt with those officers, man. It's, that was crazy. But guess what? That's prophecy. That you're going to get to a time, a point like that, where they're not going to regard authority, man. The people ain't going to regard authority. See, the scripture's telling you it right here. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their action shall stand in their power. All right, it says, verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able because it's going to come to a time where they're going to have certain places quarantined and, 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 and cordoned off. Why? Martial law, right? It says, for because, because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Okay? It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So great tribulation is coming, man. Operas of the people, okay? World War Three, Jacob's trouble, okay? The mandatory implementation of, 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 of that chip, the MOTB. These things are coming, man. It's all part of prophecy, all right? But this lesson is particularly... Going into the uproar to the people, that's that's prophecy. That's going to happen because the, 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 the words of the Lord are faithful and true and there's nothing you can do to stop it, man. So I'm going to end the lesson there, Lord, with you edified. On to the next one. Shalom.